Police say a driver crossed the double yellow line, slamming into the front of a Coleraine Township police cruiser, injuring the officer. We brought you this as breaking news on Nine on Your Side at 6. Since then, we have new information about the condition of the officer and the driver who hit him. Nine on Your Side's Roseanne Aragon is live outside UC Medical Center with the late developments. Roseanne? Julie, the driver of the car that collided into that officer's cruiser is recovering behind me tonight as we learn more details about what led up to the crash. This mangled sedan and police car are what's left of what could have been much worse. They're pretty messed up. They're, they're, they're pretty messed up. Airbags are out and everything else. Uh, all the safety features seem to have worked on these cars. But uh, there definitely was a pretty good, pretty good collision. Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies say a Coleraine Township officer was on duty heading west on New Haven Road when another car on the other side of the road crossed the center line, hitting the officer head on. Our guys was immediately at the scene, and he himself transported our policeman to uh, a hospital. And so uh, evidently his injuries were of that nature that he was able to go with him in a police car. That other driver, now identified as 52-year-old Richard Taylor, was flown by medical helicopter to UC Hospital. Both Taylor and the officer are expected to recover. Of course, is a man that uh, sworn to uh, serve and protect has now been injured, and uh, we will we'll make sure that he'll get all the care and treatment as much as possible. Now, the investigation is still ongoing. We just learned that Taylor wasn't wearing his seatbelt and prescription drugs may have played a role. But again, both are expected to survive. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.